Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Castle Crashers. I have a couple things I need to get out there before I start. First is I'm gonna apologize in advance in case my voice does any weird things like shake or whatever. I have an interview tomorrow morning and I'm excited and anxious and nervous and that does things to my voice that I don't like. Um, second, I mentioned in the last video about the keyboard noises, and unfortunately they're going to be in this video too, um, but I forgot to explain why, and that's because the laptop I currently have, as well as the one I'm looking to get uh, this week, only have one port for headsets, and the headset I own has two jacks, one for the headphones and one for the mic, which obviously do not go together, but I'm trying to get an adapter as soon as I can, so hopefully before the next video this won't be a problem, but if it is, then that'll probably be the last one. And then finally, as you probably see, I've gained some levels, and that's because I've tried to record this video twice now, and Fraps didn't record the external audio, so... Yeah, I've played through this stage twice now. And third time's a charm, right? So, let's get started. <sighs> Alright, so we left off at Barbarian War. As you can see, I beat stuff. Because... I had to play this twice. But whatever, we're gonna pretend it didn't happen. like so tense right now because I want this to work and like when it comes to technology I have a short fuse. I can't really handle so much. Anyway on to lighter topics though. Um, so yesterday I downloaded the two DLCs for Castle Crashers. Um, the Pink Knight DLC and Blacksmith which are both playable characters. Uh, I'm gonna talk a bit more about the Pink Knight first, just because I started playing as him, and oh my god, he's like so fun. He's either second favorite or like almost in line with the Green Knight for favorite character. Um, so the Pink Knight is obviously pink. He apparently started out as like a joke character to start with, which I can understand, um, and then got added to something else as like the ultimate warrior or something weird like that, I forget. He doesn't have any backstory, as far as I'm aware. I didn't look at the actual Castle Crashers wiki, so I don't know if that's the case still. Um, wait. I want my whatever this is back. Um, he's, uh, his weapon is a lollipop, and his first magic attack that you're able to use is blowing rainbows, basically, at enemies while throwing up a peace sign, and whoever gets hit by the rainbow pauses for a moment and also throws up peace signs. Um, then a later magic attack you learn, or the pink knight is able to learn, is uh, throwing plushies that explode, because that's always fun. Um, what else about him? I said something else about him in the last time I recorded this. Um, oh yeah, he's always smiling, which I think is kind of adorable. You see, like, the Red Knight's got this mean and intense glare going on. Not with the Pink Knight. He literally is smiling through the whole game and is the only character to do so. So he's adorable, yeah. And then there's the Blacksmith, who you saw briefly when I went and showed you the foglet, whatever it is. It's got a legit name, and it's what the um, animal was is named to, or whatever. I like calling it the frog moose, and um, where the ark is. Maybe I should be quiet for this. No, whatever. Um, I find it kind of funny, the last two times that I beat this thing, it was in one go. And the first time I played this game, it took like four or five tries, which I just I don't understand now, but anyway, 
So the blacksmith does have some back lore. He was like one of the most amazing fighters for the kingdom or whatever. And he had no equal and blah, 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 blah. And um, because of his prowess, he was allowed to wear purple and was the only knight allowed to do so. Because, um, and that's a big deal because purple was reserved for the king because purple guy is so hard to come by. And this is actually what it says on the wiki, so I'm not making this shit up. Um, but, you know, he'd been fighting so long and stuff that the king finally had him retire or let him, whatever it was, blacksmith retired and just became the royal blacksmith. Um, but then there was like a little blurb at the end about, oh, the blacksmith returning to fight on the field again. But yeah. Um, oh, interesting little tidbit, and I don't know if you noticed what I just did. Um, I didn't know this until I, the first time I recorded this stage. You can like smash up these trees or like certain foliage or whatever and you'll get fruit, which is really useful. Obviously. Oh, and then I was wrong about the animal orbs. The seahorse is not the first one you encounter. It's Owlet, which is just a little owl. But it, the seahorse feels like the first one because it's way obvious, and I honestly never even noticed that the owlet, like, the, the way you know where the owlet is, is it, there's, like, little musical symbols hiding behind a hill. I think in the second stage, or not the second stage, this is this, the next stage after this one. Um... And Google it or whatever, try to find out what the different animal orbs do, because they're actually really, they're like way more useful than I originally thought they were. Like the owlet, um, like, because the seahorse is cute, but all it does is help you move faster through water, which at the end of that stage is a good thing to have, but it's not necessary. But with owlet, it like collects fruit from nearby trees or whatever, like I, did I say that? Already? I don't even remember now. This is what happens when you have to record the same thing multiple times. But Alec clicks food from nearby and brings it to you. And just kind of like drops it on you automatically and I guess you get it automatically. Oh boy, here comes the barbarian boss. This is fun. Cool. So I like how the orange princess, like, like I've said, I have not beaten this game, so I don't know if you do eventually see her face, but up till the point I've gotten to so far, you do not ever see her face. Which I just think is really funny. Like, why her? And then this part confuses me too, like, like yeah, you save the princesses one by one, which I understand, but like, the others, the other, well, the other two. I don't remember if I, I think I saved the last person. I don't even remember now. But, um, they all ran away. They clearly could. Like, the, the other princesses you rescued were, like, being held captive, basically, for the most part. And can't just get away. Hey, you shut your face. Don't you laugh at me. Um, but, like, the red princess just, she's just hanging out. And that's, that's a fun, that's nasty. Now we're making it rain. No, don't. Ah, I'm missing stuff because of that. Oh, damn it. The one time I miss all of them is the time that I actually managed to record. Now we get to Mac on a princess, because why the fuck not? That looks awkward as hell, and his neck must be aching. Something awful. I like that the barbarians are just chilling there. Yeah, whatever. Alright, um... Yeah, whatever. So... That was that stage, finally. Um, thank you for watching. Like I said, I'm super excited about this. I can't wait to keep going. I'm 
having a great time playing this again. I've missed this game so much. So thank you for watching, and I will stay tuned for the next video. So I will see you then.